Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall. This is the Shah Research Hacks. This is number 28, Early Morning Productivity. Some days it can be really hard to get going and make a start on your work, especially after you open up your email inbox. So here are three early morning productivity hacks you can employ to get yourselves going. Number one, do not open your email first thing in the morning. It might sound counterintuitive not to want to check your inbox or clear up any new messages, but once you've opened your email, you're probably in it for the rest of the day. So try for the first hour of your day to leave it closed while you work on something else. If you use Google for your email and are struggling, you could try the Inbox Pause add-on. This will at least stop any new emails coming into your inbox. Do something that you have put off for a long time. This is sometimes termed as eating a frog. So as with this Mark Twain quote, if you eat a frog first thing in the morning, that will probably be the worst thing you do all day. Brian Tracy has written a book titled Eat That Frog, which is a self-help guide to deal with procrastination. So in simple terms, if you do something that you've been dreading first thing in the morning, come home time you'll feel a great sense of achievement for completing that task. The last thing you can do is write a list of everything you want to complete that day. Set timings for each task and then allow yourself set times to check your email. You can even use an app like 3030 available on iOS or Wonderlist on Android or iOS to set times to complete tasks. Obviously tools like this won't stop you having chats over coffee with colleagues in the kitchen, but why should you stop that? It will at least help you focus more at your desk if you have lots of little projects to complete. Another thing you can employ if you don't have a tablet or smartphone is put an egg timer on your desk. This is part of something called the Pomodoro technique. You won't always be able to cut out the distractions of the outside world, but by applying these techniques and tools you'll hopefully stand a better chance at least.